In this video, we are going to see the file transfer using Freya SCADA IEC 6087051.4 Server and Client Simulator. Select the desktop shortcut icon Freya SCADA IEC 6087051.4 Server Simulator. Just click the add server and create a new node new node for the IEC 104 server protocol communication parameters in the communication configuration parameter we need IP address port number and enable the file transfer and we need to locate the directory for the file transfer so for that you want to create a new folder in your preferred location just add a new folder and give the name as server dir and you can give any other name what you need then we have to move to the configuration window in that file direct file transfer directory path select the location where you have saved saved the name and share that and set the path next we have to create the data points for the configuration window for that just add a row in it choose a group menu list and select measured short float and the type ID is MMETF1 and the IO is you may assume 100 and the range is 1 like that add another row in the list box you can set point command float value and the type ID CSCTC1 and the IO you can assume 1100 and the range is 1 next con select the control model configuration in the CSCTC1 and select the direct operate and press the load configuration button now you move to the data object window in that CSC TC1 right click it and click map and the new pop-up window arrive there make sure that the map is selected and click the map button now you can view the view that the map that it has been mapped and now th start the communication for communication the server 104 client Now the server is ready to communicate with the IEC 104 client simulator. Next process to select the IEC 6087051.4 client simulator. In the simulator window, just add a new client node in the client protocol configuration and configure the IP address. Uh, port number and enable the file transfer to true and set the directory path just same as in the server simulator by creating a new folder in the preferred fold preferred directory and create a new folder like client dir and you can name it as anyone any next we move to the configuration window 
and select the file transfer directory path and choose the preferred location and the folder and make sure that the directory is name is correct and give ok and set the path next we have to create the data points in the configuration window just like in the server simulator like adding the row in the menu list measured short float and the type id is METF1 and the starting IO is like 100 and the range is 1. Next, like that, add another row and give the short shift point command float value and the type ID is CSCPC1 and the IO is the one 1100 and the range is 1 and press the load configuration button next start the communication and move to the data object window and start the communication now we can able to view the traffic and in the data object window right click the type ID CSCTC1 and select the point command and the point command window pop-ups and you can change the value as you prefer as just uh, 1 2 3 point four five six like and press the send set button flat float command and and you can able to see the changes in the changes in the value of MMETF1 because as per the command value is changed in uh, the server side we have mapped the control point to the monitoring point the same change can be viewed in the server side server simulator as the value has changed just we can verify it now we are going to focus on file transfer. Choose the already created server file transfer directory. For, for the purpose of file transfer, we have to add some files in the directory. So we are copying the file and placing it in the server directory this is the file we are going to transfer using using 104 proto protocol Now rename the file as one zero two four and give us and check the client directory. there is no file before file tra transfer now open the client simulator in the data object window right click the station commands right click the type ID and give the station command station command directory read and give, press the button directory read and you can see the file name size of the file and the time date 
and the number of files in the server directory. Next, in the data object window, choose the station command button. In the choose file read and give the file name as 1024 that we have declared file name for transfer. Next, click the button file read. Now you can view the traffic. Now the file transfer in the server simulator using the can be see using the traffic. Now in the client directory check whether the file has been transferred using 104 protocol yeah, it's have been transferred now click it and view the file just open it in Adobe Reader and give OK it's same as we have viewed in already transferred so same file have been transferred thank you for watching this